Andre Alexandrescu coined the colloquial term modern C++, adapted from his award-winning book Modern C++ Design, used today to describe a collection of important C++ styles and idioms. His research on machine learning and natural language processing and a five-year tenure as research scientist at Facebook complete a broad spectrum of expertise. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Andre Alexandrescu. Thanks, John. We're going to start with a warm-up, which is just simply discussing a bit of sentinels used in, uh, in optimization. Andre's focus on uh, empirical measurement is super important for our process and organization. We already have a rule that you're not allowed to optimize something unless you've measured it beforehand, and I think he gave a lot of important insight into how that feeds into the overall optimization process. This technique has been kind of known and forgotten in the last 50 years. Because sentinels are as old as, like what, finding elephants in Africa, right? It's a very old problem. It's a very old trick. You put the thing you look for at the end. So just in case you uh, don't find it, you don't need to make sure that you're not at the end of the thing. So you, you do less checking that way, right? And it's kind of coming back. Exactly what he was talking about is just very applicable to my team and I think most teams at Bloomberg. For every project we have, every component has to be written, tested, and then we do benchmarks on it. And having that framework to how to benchmark is just really, really useful. And the core idea here is I get to put the sentinels at the ends and I get to create a hole and do half swaps instead of full swaps. And the percentage-wise improvement is great. It's between 10 and 40%. And consider this, we are improving a function that has been considered at its best since 1961. So 55 years have gone by. If I follow his lecture as well and if I follow his idea as well, it's going to have a very positive impact to look on things which has been running on for decades and try to improve the system. And, and again, the purpose of this whole discussion we're having right now is to get our mind in the, in the way of thinking about things, that's going to naturally make us see how code can be made faster. And with this, we're done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.